move this speaker to my... Actually, I don't know how you're gonna... Uh, you're gonna have to just turn that speaker off until you need it. Because now you can probably just mute it on the sound. Oh, yeah. Then this can be So, you know, maybe we could move that up a little bit just to kind of like in front of the. No, 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 not that. This. Oh. Okay. Like move this up here. So that way it's. That way you're like having to walk back and forth around it. So to make sure we can still see everything fine here. But... Oh, well, no, that's kind of the way it's protected. Well, actually, yeah, you can if you twist this. And then, now we gotta put the whole thing again, so. Can you pull up the zoom screen? Because zoom screen is like, right on. Just that way I can simply adjust it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that. Because there might be people coming over on that side for the presentations. So that's just something we got to keep in mind. But really, you could probably just even more so go like here, and then when it is time for the course, then just move it over. So, that makes it the best part. Just like I said, I know they're doing awards, so the students might come on that side for the awards. We want to make sure both sides are free. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
turn it over to the one and only, our principal, Mr. Alvarez. Students, you have demonstrated the habit of mind known as perseverance. So please give yourself a round of applause for demonstrating perseverance. <laughs> Students, today's program is a celebration of your hard work and your engagement in Mustang Nation. It's about your grit, your determination to finish strong. Your school experience will always be what you make it to be. So make sure you make it worthwhile. So to start things off today, I'd like to introduce a very good friend of mine, your future building principal, Mr. Stephen Murray, oh as he welcomes you. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Well, as you can see, I've known some of these individuals since they're about seven or eight years old. So, uh, first thing I want to do is again thank the parents, families for taking the time to come out here and to support all students. I know it's very challenging to get that opportunity to get out of work. And basically, I'm here to welcome the eighth graders into the high school as ninth graders. And I want to briefly just discuss the uh, transition to high school because this is a big step in your career um, as a student. So every individual grade nine student will come over to the high school with a clean slate of everything your attendance record any behavior issues you've had and all of your grades it all starts over in ninth grade and now everything counts for your future and that's where my message is today because that's very important the competition the competition is there all throughout your life whether you're competing for a job with somebody you're competing for um, a spot on a team, or you're competing to get into a college or university. Think about Penn State University. Not only do students in high school from Pennsylvania apply for Penn State, students from across the country apply for Penn State. And next year will be my seventh year as a high school principal. The most proud I am about our programs is the opportunities we offer, but you have to take advantage of. 
So in order to separate yourselves from all those individuals you'll be competing with, whether it's for the workforce, uh, for a career job, or for college, join some clubs. There's so many different opportunities at the high school. There has to be something you're interested in. Continue to participate in music programs. If you're not in the music program and you're thinking about it, join the music program. Choir at the high school is a great place to start. We have outstanding teachers in all of our grade levels for music. Arts. Everyone has to take a humanities credit, so that could be music or art. Take some art classes or take a art class. And we have the athletic programs and many more. We don't have the exact date yet for the orientation program, which is basically a building tour and an introduction to all of these clubs. So to the families and parents here, we'll be reaching out over the summer to make sure you know about all the opportunities in August to come to the high school. Two more things here. So scheduling is going on right now. And I know there will be, you signed up for your first choice or second choice and your third choice. There will be some conflicts. I mean, there's only three FCS teachers and everyone wants to take food prep. And unfortunately, some of you may not get food prep, but we will work through that and make sure you get into second or third choice. And sometimes Mr. Gibbons or another high school counselor will communicate home. The last thing is this, as you go on your way and, and begin your journey, just have a great relaxing summer and uh, be safe. Thank you. Now I introduce Mr. Gibbons for the Academic Fitness Award. All right, eighth graders, welcome to your final day of eighth grade as Mr. Murray just presented. We are moving up to the high school next year. And you guys have been a unique a very unique class for me, not in the fact that you're all unique to begin with, but what we went through last year, what we continue to go through this year, um, I personally will never forget the 307 of you kiddos that are here. Um, I appreciate everything that you brought to this building, everything you helped me learn about you and helped me learn in general. So thank you for being you and believe it or not, Sometimes I know it's difficult, but you guys are the future of this community. You guys are what we're depending on. So when I'm old, Gianni, you can take care of me. All right. All right with that being said, uh, I am here to um, announce the names of our Academic Fitness Award. Uh, the Academic Fitness Award recognizes academic excellence in the classroom during seventh and eighth grade. To be eligible, students must meet a national criteria of A's and B's in every class take every class taken throughout their academic career and maintain a 3.5 grade point average at the middle school. I ask you to hold your applause until the end after we've announced all the names. When you guys and girls come on up, Mrs. Griffin will hand you uh, your certificate. All right, here we go. Addison Alexander. Jessica Hankstad, McKenna Basler, Dominic Fouguet, Brant D. Loretta, Mackenzie Dietrich, Derek Dinatale, Mia Durham, Alana Eisenhower, Eric Espinal, Cora Free. Kaylee Gall, Evan Buxness, Jacob Carl, Kelly Hearn, Erica Heller, Matthew Haywood. Yeah. Ian Hopkins, Mason Clock, 
Lance Koenig. Cassidy Karaski. Mark Lachina. Genevieve Lotman. Ryan Layman. Carter Lineweb. Yeah. Olivia Long. Chesney Longenecker. Larry Miller the third. Serena Miller. Nicholas Montgomery. Yanni Moreno. Michelle Morin. Sean O'Brien. Austin Oxenrider. Caitlin Page. John Quinn Jr. Maya Rep. Megan Rodriguez. Joseph Roslin. Avery Rumberg. Nolan C. Luke Scheffler. <laughs> Kayla Silzer. Carly Stavlevsky. Lydia Toll. Seth Toll. Aries Torres. Gabriella Urbina. Olivia Weaver. And Noah Werner. <laughs> Students, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the student who will give our end of the year speech this year. This young lady has showed tremendous, tremendous growth over this school year. I humbly, proudly, and honorably introduce to you Gianni Gonzalez. Before I begin, I need to tell you that I've never spoken in front of a large crowd before. I'm a little nervous, so bear with me as I sort of get through a little bit about my journey. Before I came to Governor's Mission Middle School, I left in Puerto Rico until I was eight. So you, you might guess and be correct that school are a bit different. We didn't have homework, we didn't go off our church. We had to go to the home and there was no recess. We did get to eat outside everything since it was nice. 
That was nice. As you can imagine, I was so sad for the most part. In 2018, I moved to America and started admin. Moving to America was a big change in my life. It wasn't as easy as you think. It was hard for me to make friends. Remember, I didn't want to speak any English. Eventually, I made friends, but they weren't always as good for me. I used to always get in trouble as a new person in school. This year, I moved to Governor Mitchell, and for me, it was a big step in the right direction. Now you're probably wondering why I love you. Why would they let the state that gets in trouble speak at a war ceremony? The well, truth is, I have turned it around and I was able to do that because I had a great teachers. I feel like me and you haven't always made the best of students. High school is a great place to start with. New buildings will teach you who you can. The choice is yours. Maybe you join Spanish club to try out your pocket. Maybe you decide to get it. Job or make the decisions to not swear when you're in class. No matter what you choose to do, just make sure you stay true to yourself. Freshman will be different than eighth grade, but it's up to you to decide what the difference will be. And like me, I hope you take a step in the right direction. Speaking of the right direction, I like to take a moment to say thank you to, to some people who helped me get there. First, the spooky. Was so so nice to me from day one. She seemed to understand me, and she seemed she made me feel like I belong in Governor Mitchell. This book has always been there, even if I haven't been the nicest. I wanted to know that she has really changed my life, and that you will always have a place in my heart. Ms. Griffin was another teacher who made me make the right choices. She made sure I stepped on my game and did what I had to do. The memories of Ms. Zimmer will always be fun to me. She used to always tell me I was smart and that I got this even if I didn't believe I could do it. But when we started the connection, me and you had a lot of ups and downs. Oh, ah, but if I'm being real and honest, she made me be a better person and put me in my place every day. I needed that. We talked about shoes, our family issues, stuff you could talk to a friend about. And I appreciate Ms. Funny for being that person without the influence of all my teachers, but specifically the mentions of love. I wouldn't be missing the name, but now I am a part of the crew. Finally, I'm going to give a shout out to my mom, my stepdad, my dad, and Mr. Alvarez, Mr. Gibbons, Mr. Bagan. I always believe in me. One thing, one last thing, high school is just the first step towards our future. So I hope you you will make it sure the first step is solid. There are so many people here in Midford that want to help us. Our friends, our teachers, our guidance counselors, our administrators, know that they are here for you. If you're struggling, reach out, let someone know. I believe in us, class of 2026, we are the builders, the creators, the creators of the future. We are unique, we are unstoppable, we are different. I want to close it out by saying, even though this is my first year at Governor Mitchell, a lot of teachers and my friend Jeremiah who made it better. As Jay Z once said, remind yourself, nobody's built like you. You design yourself, you are, we are all unique, design only we can. We model ourselves. So who will we be next year? The ball is in your court. Everyone in the room should always remember the middle school years and don't let others change it. Stay with me. Thank you very much. Let's give her one more round of applause. Okay, I am up again, uh, and I am uh, presenting the Good Citizenship Award. This award is presented to one eighth grade girl and boy. Criteria includes showing concern and respect for others, displaying interest 
in and support of the school and the community, performing volunteer service for the school and the community, ex exhibiting hard work and self-discipline, and completion of homework and school projects in a timely fashion. This year's award winners of the Good Citizenship Award are Lillian De Loretta and Matthew Hayward. Let's give him another round of applause. All right, I'd like to welcome up the, the uh, grade eight cohort teachers to give out their STANG award. <laughs> Today we get to celebrate the success from two students from each of the cohorts. And even though there's one teacher representing the award for each cohort, it's important for you to understand that all of your teachers participated in nominating the students for this award. Because as Mr. Murray said, it all matters. It matters how you behave in class. It matters how you behave in the cafeteria, what you do in the hallway. Uh, so I'm here, I guess we're going to numerical order, to um, talk about the two students who are getting an award for cohort 8-1. Um, while everyone in this cohort deserves rec recognition, um, you're all fabulous. And you all have something positive that you contribute to everything, no matter where you are. Um, all of your teachers work together, and it was a very, very difficult decision. Um, the two students we selected achieved success through hard work and perseverance. They came into school with a positive attitude, ready to participate, and they were always respectful every day and all day. The award for the top student for cohort 8-1 is Addison Alexander and Mason Clock. Award to. 
So we decided to do something a little different with this cohort. We decided to give this award to a group of individuals. This group has always been respectful and kind. They always say hi in the hallway and try to make everyone feel included. They're also understanding when someone might call them the wrong name. It is their first year here at Cover Mifflin, but they sure are making a positive impression on all of us. For those of you who haven't figured it out, um, this award is going to Andrew, Bart, and John. Good morning, I am Ms. Wolfs, in case you're not too sure who I am, and I have had the pleasure of ending every single day with 83. Yeah! So in case you don't know a little bit about 83, they are a group who enjoy what season? Season five. A lot of hugging, lots of hugging, and they adore Eddie. Yeah. But so with a group that is so very similar and such a strong unit together, how do we choose? So Mr. B and I are going to give the awards here um, to our two students from 8-3. So the one I have is our a very academic, which all of our 8-3 students are very academic. He's managed to complete all of his Naviance lessons without complaining. Oh, oh hey, there's a few. There's a few. He does all of his FBL lessons for me without any grumbling. Uh, he definitely is very future driven, talks about what he is going to do. He's very good at his basketball and track. And when all of you leave my classroom, he's one of the few who stay back and make sure it gets back into order. And I couldn't be happier to say that A plus B equals our great student here, Lance King. <laughs> Good morning, eighth grade. So I get the pleasure to start the day off with eighth grade. <laughs> so the girl that we chose for the Stang eighth grade cohort award is someone who's faced many challenges throughout the school year. Um, we've all faced challenges with returning to school full time in the face of the pandemic, as well as enduring different types of hardships. Uh, this student not only overcame those obstacles, but she did it with grace and style. This person suffered an injury early on in the fall and had to adapt to an entirely new schedule. Once she healed up, this student had to adapt again to a whole new schedule. However, she was steadfast in her efforts and she kept focus and she was locked on to what she had to do. As a result, I believe that she earned top marks in all of her classes and is looking at many opportunities at the high school. This person is Serena Miller. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
to talk through things. They will always be the ones that stay after school and make sure the room is cleaned up at the end of the day. Or even check, Mrs. Griffin, are you okay? Oh my God. A5 would always test your limits. Braxton. <laughs> <laughs> but these two would always make sure it was okay. These two students are Grant De Loretta and Erica Helper. Thank you. 
First of all, I would like to add my accommodations uh, to the class. Good luck next year as you guys move to ninth grade and you face your futures. And as you guys know, you're well equipped, well, well equipped and ready to tackle the future. Um, so I have the distinct honor of presenting awards to 86. Yeah, you know who you are out there, guys. We started with a lot, we ended with a little. Um, but all through the year, we had two students who uh, rose to the top and accepted the challenges of the cohort. Our first award winner in 86 was a young gentleman who, who was described as his teacher says, focused, pleasant, and working well with others. He comes to class every day and with others up around him. If anyone needed a charger in 86, and we needed a lot of chargers in 86. Yeah, you guys still owe me like cash for all these chargers, so I loaned to you guys. This student was there to help. I can personally say that I enjoyed every class with the student when he was present. Your first award winner in A6 is Mr. Avery Aver. Our second award winner is a young lady who, if you would walk into our classroom um, during 8-6 time and you didn't trip over any of the charger wires that were in front of you, you might miss her if you looked around. But in the middle of the occasional craziness of 8-6, if you look closer, you'll see a focused, intent on learning, inquisitive young lady. Our award winner came to class prepared every day to learn and earned some of the highest marks on assignments throughout the year. And if you got even closer, you would be quick to realize that she is one really sharp card player. Our award winner is Ms. Chesney Longnecker. My name is Samini Gorg, and I'm an ELA teacher. Eighth grade, I just want to let you know that um, I taught seventh grade for 20 years, and you were one of the classes that made me realize that I truly belong in eighth grade. My sarcasm is much more appreciated. <laughs> One more. I'm presenting the award for cohort 8-7. Mr. Job and I shared this cohort for flex only. I did not teach English to this cohort. So we spent every other day together uh, lamenting over SEO lessons and career readiness. And I can honestly say that this group is a split combination of fire and ice. There are students who are true fire and they are you know, energetic and never want to really sit down or talk and cooperate with anything that doesn't have anything to do with a ball or being outside. And then there's the ice students who are always cool and calm and collected. Smack dab in the middle is this student who is warm. She is friendly and sweet, honest and kind. She cooperates with every lesson that I put out to her. She always has a smile on her face to her friends. She's never involved in drama. And she can honestly say um, to everybody who meets her that she has compassion and empathy and she exudes friendliness. The only thing that really annoys her is that when people don't pronounce her last name correctly. Kylie. <laughs> This 
other student. My mother used to say, I'm always saying that, aren't I? My mother used to say, she was a smart woman. My mother used to say, still water runs deep. I don't think there's any deeper water in eighth grade than this student. She is the stillest person I have ever met. Her calmness calms me in the midst of some of the chaos when we are playing outside or talking or trying to calm down some of the students in eight, seven. This one is always the picture of calm. She's the eye of the storm. And sometimes I just stand near her and look at her draw and it calms me. Her drawings are amazing. We all know who she is, don't we? Who is it? Bailey Zimorowski. Come up. She's so calm, we can't even see her. Congratulations, eighth grade. We all love and appreciate you. Good luck with her. Okay, so for uh, the 8-8 eight, eight cohort, uh, the boy we chose for the Stag 8-8 eight, eight cohort award is someone who's been consistently focused every day and has kept a positive attitude throughout the, uh, all of his classes throughout the school year. So if this person remained interested and curious and enthusiastic in what he was learning, any discussions that were going on, as well as what was going on in the world around him. Never ending curiosity. Uh, he contributed to class discussions by adding insightful uh, value, and he contributed to the positive atmosphere of the classroom and in the hallways. Uh, he made it a point to greet people in the hallways and classrooms with a smile. And we're, cer we're certain that this person is off the bigger opportunities to high school and beyond. And this person is Lachlan Heller. Come on up, Lachlan. <laughs> I teach pre-algebra and algebra. It is my honor to introduce a very special young lady from cohort 8-8. I'll be honest, 8-8, I was very worried about teaching 8-8 this year. Now, I love, I look forward to their class. Whenever they come to us, I'm excited because they're real and they're genuine people. This student represents grit, hard work, growth, and coachability, and so much more. She came to us here at the middle school screaming and yelling. She wanted to be heard. Well, we listened. And now her kindness and love will be heard in our hearts for many years to come. To add to this student's mentorship, she had quoted Biggie. I mean, I'm sorry, she quoted Jay-Z, and I will add to that. Live far from timid. Make moves only when your heart's in it and live the phrase sky's the limit. This student is so special. There are two, excuse me, there are two of us to introduce her. Here's Miss Boopy. Hi, Miss Boopy. Hello, eighth grade and parents and teachers. I'm Mrs. Boopy. This is not gonna be easy, so bear with me. Um, being a reading teacher, I have a little story I wrote. Once upon a time, there was a classroom with folders and books 
and whiteboards and wobbly stools and students. Students who came to not only learn to comprehend and solve equations, but to be accepted, to be loved, and to share their own stories. As the years went on, I loved hearing each of my students' stories. They were all amazing. And as the year progressed, the students' particular, particular story began to stand out. It was and continues to be a story of resilience, of putting their best foot forward no matter what and never quitting. It is a story of integrity. They know who they are, what they stand for. They aren't in this for praise or for attention, but because they care and want to do the right thing. It is a story about character. They are considerate about others, often putting others' needs first. They are not a giver. I mean, they are not a taker, but a giver. People are naturally drawn to them. Once upon a time, there was a classroom with folders and books and whiteboards and wobbly stools and students and a teacher. A teacher who found that the very students that she was trying to inspire are the ones that ended up inspiring her. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Love you all. Sorry. And please help me congratulate Gianni Marie that could be recognized that it was hard to narrow it down. And I know you're all going to do amazing things at the high school. So eight nines top two can be summarized in three words, driven, consistent, and giggly. Both of eight nines top two kept their heads held high and they pushed forward even when things got hard. One teacher said that they're so proud of how they always had their eyes on the goal. Another teacher said that both of these students, Griffin, both of these students are consistent and honest. They take their time and they do what's best. Doors will open for them in the future. All of these traits are what you need to find success, and I truly hope that both of you never lose your drive. Although we may not have seen their smiles for most of the school year, all right, you always knew when they told a joke or they found something funny. You'd hear just a little giggle from across the room, and then you could just see it in their eyes. All right, so from reading books underneath tables, <laughs> to always trying to keep Cameron just from invading their personal space. Our top staying students from 8-9 are Diego Bonilla and Bella Burgos. Yeah. 
Some Harry Styles songs do, in fact, slap. <laughs> and yes, Among Us is a dead meme. <laughs> and they have So the two students who were chosen for this award did more than that. They came into class every day with a positive attitude, a commitment to learning, and they helped cu curate a culture of respect. With the continued craziness of middle school, these two students helped everyone, from their peers to their teachers, have the best experience possible. Before I announce two students I, or that we chose as a whole, I do want to emphasize that there were two cho chosen, but this cohort is filled with great students who are going to do amazing after the high school. We are all rooting for you at the middle school, A10. If there are no questions, comments, or concerns, our winners for A10 today were Gabby Urbina and Aries Torres. <laughs> $35 for all the parents back there if you wanted to purchase one of the office. Uh, so as, 
as that plug is over, I just want to celebrate this young student, and uh, she's always helpful, and she's always willing to help, and uh, she, she's done wonderful things for our class uh, this year. So it is my pleasure to uh, give the second award to Dianelli Carrasco Santiago. My closing remarks to 811, I, I wish all of you the best of luck in ninth grade. Last but certainly not least, um, hi, my name is Mr. Chop, a big science teacher, and I have the uh, pleasure of presenting Dr. Ward 812. Uh, before I start, I would be remiss if I did not mention, uh, as a teacher, you spend most of your days trying to inspire students. And, uh, Say, um, occasionally your students inspire you. John Gonzalez, you did that for me this year. You inspired me to do what I try to do. All right, page 12, where are you? There you are. Okay, um, last but not least, um, so like Mrs. Berkey said in the beginning, please keep in mind that this is an award that's presented by all the eighth grade teachers, and oftentimes when we get together, we were sitting there in the cafeteria after school one day. And you throw out nominations, and there's a bunch of you that are deserving of this. And there was quite a bit of debate. Um, there's certainly more than two students who showed the qualities of being really great students, and maybe most importantly, amazing people. So keep up the good work. Um, all your teachers are proud of you. That everybody agree, all your teachers are proud of you. As mentioned before, we need to recognize the students that go above and beyond the norm. These students share great commitment to school on a regular basis. When I reached out to the other teachers via email and uh, I asked for some remarks to include in the speech, I repeatedly heard things like these two students consistently added value to all class discussions. They asked insightful questions. They were locked into every lesson and they, just, they demonstrated excellence in all of their work. Okay. What I appreciated most, um, and I try to emphasize this in class as often as possible, that pretty much everything that came out of their mouth was positive. You never heard anything ever. Every comment, every comment, every interaction with their peers, with their teachers, with staff around the building, it was positive and it was respectful. And we appreciate that. And that makes Mustang Nation a better place. Okay. These students gave their best in whatever they could. And that's any all anyone could ask. You guys only ask is for your best. All right. My message personally to you two is um, your work ethic is outstanding. Your future is shining bright. Set high goals for yourself, please, and go get them. Go get them. The high school's waiting. It's an honor for me, on behalf of all the great teachers, to present the 812 awards to Audrey Liptock and Ivan Melit Tish. Good morning. I'd like to begin by congratulating our eighth grade class. Um, as you move on to the high school, your next adventure begins. Take some risks, try some.